Today we're talking about why I sold Hive stock. And no, I didn't sell my entire position in Hive. I sold about 400 shares of Hive last week. My Patreon members were informed about this. By the time this video goes live, Hive could be a little bit higher, but also it could have dropped back down from around $6.80 where I sold some shares at. In this video, I'll be explaining why I ended up selling some of my Hive shares in my Wealthsimple trade portfolio. Some of you may have noticed an icon in the bottom left of this video saying that there was a paid promotion, and yes, this video was sponsored by Skillshare, but more on that later on in this video. If you guys are new here, my name is Daniel, and here on this channel, we talk about stock market investing. My cat Mew here just loves to jump on my lap whenever I'm filming, so she might be here for the duration of the video. If you're interested in growth stock investing, consider subscribing to my channel. So the two main reasons as to why I ended up selling Hive was first, I was taking profits. The second reason, I believe that Hive is a little bit overvalued for where it's at right now, and the market is being a bit irrational. I believe that we could probably see a pullback from these levels at some point or another over the next couple of weeks. That is, if it hasn't already yet happened when this video was released. I'll touch on the first reason of taking profits before I talk about why I think Hive might be overvalued at its current valuations. So the reason why I decided to take profits now is because I bought it around $2.60 to $2.70 per share, and right now I'm sitting on about close to a 3x from my initial investment. So here I decided to take out a good chunk of my initial capital, and really this is more of a move for me to have cash in my account right now. I don't have too much cash left over, so I wanted to build up my cash position a little bit before we could potentially see a market correction. We already saw signs of that last week where we had two red days in the market and they were fairly heavy. But I think that the market is still a little bit frothy. We may go up a bit more from here, but eventually we'll hit a correction of maybe 5 to 10%. So having cash on the sidelines is always great for when the market shows some sort of sign of downturn. Before we move on, let's talk a bit about Skillshare, today's video sponsor. So personally, I've been using Skillshare over the past couple of months. I use it to learn about things like creating thumbnails programming, as well as some video editing skills. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including design, photography, freelancing, and even finance. Classes on Skillshare include a combination of video lessons as well as a class project to help solidify the concepts that you learned. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes, and most classes are under 60 minutes long. They're ad-free, and best of all, they get straight to the point. The cost of Skillshare is under $10 if you're in the States, and for Canadians, it's $11.75 per month if you do an annual subscription. I personally have also posted my first class on Skillshare, so if you're interested, you can check that out, and I'll link that in the description. In the future, I plan to add another course, which outlines all my steps for stock market research, and I'll let you guys know when that's available. Now, if you go down below and click on the link, the first 1,000 people who sign up with the link today will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore your creativity. The second reason as to why I sold out of Hive is because I believe it's overvalued or all the good news is priced in. So if we look at their mining capabilities, which I have my phone here, as of September 30th, they have mining capacities for Bitcoin at 226 pentahashes per second, using about nine megawatts of energy. And the energy cost is about four cents per kilowatt. So the monthly profits from this facility is around $1.99 million at today's prices of Bitcoin and they mine about 40 Bitcoins per month. So you can kind of do the math later on in the future if they're able to mine 40 Bitcoins per month based on future prices that are probably gonna be higher as I predicted them, then you can also do some napkin calculations on that, which I'll show you a little bit later on. Then moving on to another facility which I have in Sweden. This facility has powers of 3,030 gigahashes per second mining Ethereum using 14 megawatts of power for these mining rigs. The monthly profit from this is around $11,015 based on today's prices of Ethereum, and the amount of Ether that they mine is around 5,195 Ethers per month. So this may go up or down depending on the number of miners out there. However, with the price of Ethereum going up, there's a good chance that Hive may see diminishing returns on their mining operations because with the more miners out there, the less Ethereum each person can get from their mining operations. The third facility that they have is in Ireland. And this facility has a capability of mining at 576 gigahashes per second. It uses around 3.5 megawatts of power. The monthly profits from this facility at today's prices is $2.12 million. And the amount of ether that they mine based on today's rates is 993 ethers per month. Now they also have some future expansion out there, which in Sweden they're planning to expand their Ethereum mining by 30%, 
roughly which is 1000 giga hashes per second. And this will equal to around 1723 ethers per month, using a total of 6 megawatts of power. Also, Hive is planning to expand their Bitcoin mining capabilities all throughout 2021. And the rollout of these new miners are coming at about, I think, 500 rigs per month starting in like April or May. And the amount of mining power that they're going to have by December this year is 1,229 pentahashes per second. And this equals to around 212 Bitcoins per month at today's rate. And they're going to use around 21.89 megawatts of power. So if we're looking at the total future hashing power, then we're going to take this and multiply it by the price of Bitcoin today, as well as a future predicted price of Bitcoin to see what kind of revenues they can pull in. So the total future Bitcoin hashing power is 1,229, as we said earlier, and the total future Ethereum hashing power is 4,606 giga hashes per second. The total amount of ether that they can mine per month is 7,869.67 ethers, and the amount of monthly Bitcoin that they can mine in the future is 216. Again, these are going to fluctuate going forwards, and they might fluctuate on the day-to-day. -day. Now, at today's rates, the total amount of revenue that Hive could earn once they've got all their mining rigs installed and ready to mine is around $312 million. $144 million from Bitcoin, and $168 million from Ethereum. Now, if we have future prices predicted for Bitcoin and Ethereum, where let's say Bitcoin hits about $100,000 and Ethereum hits around $5,000 per Ethereum, then the rough earnings will be somewhere around $420 to $450 million of revenue. That's not accounting for all the electricity costs, and possibly they could be mining less Ethereum Bitcoin because there's more people coming onto the scene in mining. And also, these are sort of price predictions for somewhere near the peak of Ethereum and Bitcoin. And, you know, if we look at the trends for Bitcoin and Ethereum, there's always a crash after a huge bull run up. For 2021, it's probably going to be no different. We're going to see a run up to maybe $100,000 to $200,000 USD. And by the time Bitcoin hits that kind of price, we may see a major correction, about 60 to 70 percent or even more than that. We might not see as big of a correction that we saw in 2017 because there's more institutional buyers and those guys usually tend to hold onto the Bitcoin versus in 2017, there was a lot of retail investors and retail investors have paper hands. But nonetheless, I think we're gonna still see a pullback in Bitcoin as well as Ethereum by the end of 2021, if not early 2022. And by that time, Hive will have finally got their facilities up and running at maximum capacity based on the information that we know right now. The problem with that I see is that they're going to be at maximum capacity only for a couple months before cryptocurrencies potentially crash. And basically that's my one year outlook for cryptocurrencies. And for that reason, I think that Hive is a bit overvalued because although they can mint around $450 million of revenue, that's only going to be for one quarter when Bitcoin and Ethereum prices are at all time highs. But if it crashes by about 60 to 70%, then we could see a huge reduction in revenue that Hive is producing. And this could be a huge red flag and we're obviously going to see the stock sell off. I think that right now a lot of the good news is priced in without Hive actually having deployed these miners and therefore that's why I started taking profits here. Over the following weeks if this price continues to run up I'll be taking profits here and there and I don't plan to buy back in. I'll probably reduce the amount of remaining shares that I have from 450 to maybe 100 shares and just let those ride out just for the event that maybe we don't actually see a cryptocurrency crash and Hive continues to mine profitably as a company. But as of right now, with the information I know, I see a lot of risk going forwards once the crash comes and what this will do on Hive's revenue. And the fact that Hive is up by 3x right now, I'll take my initial capital plus some profits and look for other places to deploy my capital, which I can see better long-term appreciations over time. So that's where I stand with Hive right now. I think that they've done a great job in terms of building out their mining rigs. And honestly, they are the best cryptocurrency miner that I could find out there right now. They have positive cash flows from their operations versus other stocks like Riot or Mara, which I believe have negative cash flows. And Hive also has some other unique plays like an energy play, as well as they're doing a lot of stuff in green energy space, where their facilities are actually going to be um, powered by solar panels as well as wind power. So these are great things that I see going forwards for Hive. But at the current prices and based on my analysis earlier, I do think it's overvalued, which is why I took profits. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Maybe I've missed something in my due diligence. So feel free to let me know if you found any other information that's critical that could maybe show that Hive could 10x from its current prices. But with what I know, this is the decision that I've made going forwards. 
If you want to check out other videos on Hive, here are my two initial analysis on Hive. One of them goes over the financials and the other one goes over the core business of Hive. If you're there, I'll see you there. If not, keep up the grind and have a great day.